Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and we're going to do some more reverse flicking knives. Now, yesterday I did a video on great reverse flicking knives. I tried to go not all the way budget, but very obtainable knives. You know, they're basically... Uh, most of the knives were under 150 or within 150 or under. A lot of them were budget knives, but they were all available for you to buy. Now, most of these on this list are available for you to buy. Some of them are high-end, like this one, the Olamic Whipper Snapper. Now, this is an expensive knife, but man, this is possibly one of my favorite reverse flicking knives. I mean, it's just so effortless to reverse flick this knife. And the top flipper is so effortless as well. Even the thumb action. The, the, the hole is a great deployment method because even if you're not good at the reverse flick, it's very easy to thumb flick or to slow roll open. The hole just kind of grabs you. Now remember, like yesterday, no fullers are allowed. The knife has to have some sort of hole. So this is the Olamic Whipper Snapper, one of the best reverse flicking knives out there. Awesome knife, M390 Titanium. And these are customizable. You can get them in so many different options, colors, and variations. They're amazing. Next, now this one a lot of people have. We have the Spyderco Delica. This one happens to be in 20 CV and copper scales. I won this on patina or titty patina knives. Um, thanks to EDC journey. Now this knife, a lot of people say that their spring is a little too strong to reverse flick, but I've seen like a ton of people that are, that it's very easy for them. Mine happens to be very, very smooth. I mean, yeah, you have the resistance right here, but that's where you just build it up. And then once you get past, you just fling it. So very easy, in my opinion, to use. And even the slow roll is very satisfying on this one because it's not a large knife, but it's a great size EDC knife. Very slicey blade too. Awesome blade shape. Next. Now this one is, I believe, discontinued, but the Wee Malice. Oh, I love, love, love this knife. Um, I recently did a full review on it. It is just a beast of a knife. It is heavy, it's thick, not in my opinion, but maybe in other people's opinions. A lot of people say that to me. I just think it's a solid, solid knife. Full titanium scales, no milling, full backspacer, flame anno. They do come in just raw titanium as well. A beautiful satin finish on this flat ground drop point blade. And as you can see, it does have a hole that has holes in it. <laughs> so maybe I cheated a little bit, but awesome, awesome knife. I love the Wii Malice. Next. Now there is a smaller version of this knife, but the Spyderco Yojumbo. Now, a lot of people have the Yojimbo, which is a, uh, a smaller version, more EDCable version of this knife. This is a big knife. It's a very big knife. Um, like if we look at it next to the, you know, let's look at it next to the Delica because a lot more people know that knife. You can see this thing is not small at all. But the Yojimbo is a very EDCable, very good size. I think it's a three inch blade. So if you like the way this looks, it just looks a little too big. The Yojimbo is a great option. Very thin, hollow ground blade. You can see how thin this thing gets. Hopefully it'll come up on camera. It gets very thin with this deep hollow grind. Mine's an S30V and G10. The action on the reverse flick is just great. Even on the Yojimbo, it has such a crisp detent. I found that even the Yojimbo, it has even a better reverse flick than the PM2 in many cases. I tried a, a carbon fiber version of the Yojimbo. Man, that was so good. Now this one, there is a couple other options as well, but this is the Titanium Kaiser October. Now the Kaiser October does come in a micarta version and I have that one as well. Awesome reverse flicking action. You can use the fuller if you want, 
but it also has a hole so that is very very easy to use and you can thumb flick it great ergos great carry this one just happens to be the titanium version which i know is not available yet but the micarta the black micarta and the red bacon micarta is available and it's in 20 cv steel i tested their 20 cv and it seems pretty good pretty good especially for the price these things are very very affordable next we have the new genie now this comes in a bunch of options as well also guys if you guys want to use my links below to pick up any of these knives if you don't want the one that i link below that's okay as long as you use that link to get there you can change you know pick a different one you know if you pick like say if i have this one linked and you say oh no i want the titanium version that's fine just use the link to get there and switch to the titanium version no problem it will still support the channel this is the um the kaiser genie and it does have good reverse flicking action especially for the left hand because the hole is big because it has the access to the lock bar right here so since the hole is bigger it's really nice for the left hand but it's still decent for the right hand the, the thumb flick is also good and it's also a front flipper the micarta is really good quality i do like their quality their their micarta um nice beautiful clip point reverse tanto sheep's foot blade whatever you want to call it and six 90 if i can find it n690 steel and it is very slicey great access to the lock bar nice fall shutty action and a deep carry clip next this is a little compact knife that i absolutely love the spider co brower written right there the brower mine is an s30v g10 and titanium now this is a titanium frame lock with a nice big lock bar insert you could see the size of that lock bar insert beautiful lockup this thing is super solid for how small of a knife it is now it is on washers but something about the action just this little tiny knife is it's amazing well, one you have the little uh cutout right there where you can get right to the hole and slow roll it open very comfortably. The lock bar has lots of access. You can just let it drop and grab with your thumb and close it. You don't have a lot of access for the reverse flick, but in my opinion, it's still very easy. And if you are left-handed, then it's very easy for you. Uh, Non-deep carry clip, just a regular Spyderco spring clip, but it works great. I mean, it is a little compact knife, but man, I, I, I like this. You know, it's kind of like a... Um, it's kind of like the like the banter the baby banter in the way it is where it has a small blade but a lot of grip another knife that's also very similar whoa we got the spider co slish buoy now this one is a, an original one and i love this knife i do very good action especially for the left hand so you can switch clips right so you can switch this over to a lefty carry and you can use it to reverse flick because you have so much access for the reverse flick on for lefty but i can even do it with my right hand not a problem at all i actually enjoy it mine is very very smooth i mean it is like so frictionless oh, i love it and the thumb flick is also very easy but when i hit the lock bar watch it drop i mean just so smooth and then closing it it's like it's on oiled glass it's so so smooth mine is very broken in though but even on like the slow roll just incredibly smooth and then all the clicks it has i love the the sounds of the lockup i love this knife cts xhp and this one has the polished stone wash finish that is oh so beautiful titanium frame lock no lock bar insert spring clip amazing amazing knife i love that knife next now this is more of an affordable option and there are a couple different options i guess you could choose because the ferrum forge they have okay so they have the mini archbishop they have this one which is the oh man can't even think of the name of it now the prolix the Ferrum Forge Prolix. Now we, or Savivi is the one who makes this, but they also have the Ortis and the, the Mini Arch 
Bishop. They're all very similar size. They have a lot of similarities. They're all reverse flick and have a flipper tab. G10, this, well, this one's G10. My mini Archbishop is uh, carbon fiber. I don't think they have those available anymore. Awesome clip inset. The jimping is really good. The reverse flicking action is really good. You can get a full grip because of the choil. All of them have a forward finger choil. And they all are very small, compact little EDC knives that work fantastic. Next, now this one is discontinued, but I love it. I love it. It is on needle bearings on the pivot, and it is a button lock. This is the real steel Griffin, and it's just an amazing knife. It is. They do have the titanium version available still some places, I believe. It is more expensive because it's M390 and titanium button lock, but it's on needle bearings, which in my opinion, it, you don't see that very often. So I think that's amazing. And this one, the budget version, the aluminum handle version is in 14C 28M blade steel. Very slicey, very comfortable in the hand, beautiful sharpening choil, just an amazing knife. Very, very smooth. Next, now this one is very much available. I believe I'll be able to link it below. This is the Tucson TS305 and it has amazing access for the reverse flick and for the left hand because it has the carbon, the beautiful carbon fiber that covers the frame lock. This is a big knife though, very big. Mine is in 14C 28N, but uh, I believe they have an S90V version or an M390 version, I believe. Very, very smooth. You also have a front flipper, but that's very easy to use. The thumb flick is also really easy or the slow roll. Beautiful uh, harpoon style drop point blade. It is a very straight knife. Amazing ergos. It's very contoured in the hand. I got a full review up on this, so I'm not going to say too much. If you want to see the review, um, uh, yeah, it's awesome. Next. Woo! The Giant Mouse Ace Grand. Now, you can still get these, I believe. Uh, I'm not sure if they're discontinued or not. Man, I love this knife. This is such a good knife. I did modify mine and make a bigger cutout for the lock bar access. You can watch that video. I, I showed it in the full review. I talk about testing the, the Elmac steel, and I show the how I cut out the access to the lock bar. So if you want to see that, you got to watch the full review. Amazing ergos. The micarta is so well done and the reverse flicking action. It's very a very natural feeling because one, your ergos are so good and it has a reversible clip. But the, the hole is just in a perfect spot, right-handed or left-handed. So this is going to be great for both options, right or lefty. These are not cheap, but man, they're good. And we have, we'll do two more really quick. We got the Williamson Red E knife. I'm actually giving, uh, this is one of the options out of 10 options of the, the giveaway knives um, this month for the patron members. This is one of the coolest sounding knives. Listen to this thing. Let's pull the mic closer. It is just such a cool sounding knife. Nice little compact three inch blade, nice big forward finger choil, amazing jimping on the spine, and it does have an access lock. So very, very strong locking mechanism. So it's gonna be a very durable locking knife and a nice deep carry clip that um, I think is, re is it reversible? Maybe it's not. Oh yeah, it is reversible. Yes, it is reversible. So, and you could also do the thumb roll or the thumb flick. The thumb flick isn't the best because of this little shelf right here, but you can obviously do it just fine. Next and last but not least, we got the Artisan Arian. Now they do have a more budget option. I'm gonna try to link it down in the description. That is a small version that's more budget friendly. It's a liner lock. That version will be uh, smaller though. It's a smaller, more compact version. This one is the larger one with the titanium frame lock and S35VN. 
I believe the smaller version is in their ARRPM9 steel. This thing is very, very smooth. Very false shutty. Nice thumb. The thumb flicking action is okay, but the reverse flicking action is amazing. Even in the left hand, no problems. I can. It doesn't uh, affect it too much with me covering the lock bar. I just don't push really hard. I just lay it right over the top. The ergos are very thin, compact in the hand. Nice slicey blade. Uh, beautiful drop point blade nice beautiful satin finish just an amazing knife mine has their coral micarta it's a burgundy micarta they do have the other one which is a brown micarta which i do i think looks a little bit better but when i got this they didn't have that one available so they have a full tie version brown micarta this one and then they have the smaller version in this micarta um, they might have other micartas for the smaller version, but amazing reverse flicking action. You got a lot of leverage into there. The detent is nicely tuned for the reverse flick and just an amazing knife. There you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.